Hey everyone and welcome to a VK Northern video. Now I had a previous video showing you how to install the Zebo mod using the Zebo updater. However, the Zebo updater is no longer functional as it has been discontinued by its author. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Zebo mod manually using a extractor and just extracting it into the folder directly. So let's go ahead and start with this video. So the first thing we're going to do is actually download the Zebo mod itself. We're going to first download a full version. These are labeled as underscore full at the end. And then we're going to download the latest patch. This is going to be the highest number at the end. So over here is 15. That's the one we're going to want. Now, if there is only a full version located in the actual folder for the Zebo mod, you're going to go ahead and download the full version only as that's all you're going to need. This file here with the underscore 15, for example, is a patch that fixes a couple things rather than making you download the full mod again. The original link that was located in the forum post for the Zebo 737 is no longer functional as of this time of recording. So therefore, I'm going to leave a link to this Google Drive folder in the description so that you can download the file from there yourself. Go ahead and download the full version and the patch. Once you have downloaded these files, we're going to go ahead and go to where you saved them. I have them saved in my downloads. We're going to open up the one that has underscore full at the end first. Once it is open, you're going to find the B737-800X file. You're going to open it and just check that the hierarchy is correct and that you have airfoils, cockpit, etc. like this laid out. We're then going to go back and then we're going to go and find our installation for X-Plane 11. Now I have my X-Plane 11 located on a separate hard drive or SSD. So I'm going to go there and I have the Steam version. So I'm going to go into my Steam library, Steam apps, common, X-Plane 11. So just locate your X-Plane 11 installation folder. Once you have found your X-Plane 11 installation folder, go ahead and open your aircraft folder. Once in here, you may only have two files, which consists of laminar research and extra aircraft. That is fine that we aren't going to need any of the other files. Instead, we're going to install the actual Zebo mod itself. I am going to proceed to delete my previous installations. Go ahead and grab this file, drag it, and then drop it into the other folder. We are now going to wait for it to extract, so I will come back once this has extracted. Now that the file is actually extracted, we can go ahead and close the full version of the Zebo mod. We can then double click it and open it and see that all of our files have extracted to the correct location. We are now going to go ahead and patch the Zebo mod by using that other separate file we downloaded with the number at the end. Go ahead and go back and open that file. Mine is called 3 underscore 52 underscore 15. You might have a different version depending on when you install the Zebo mod. Once you have opened this file, all you're going to do is highlight everything in this folder, drag it and drop it into this other Zebo installation folder. When it comes up with the prompt asking you to either replace the files, skip the files, or let me decide for each file, go ahead and click on replace the files in the destination. It will then proceed to replace all of the files, overwrite them, and update them with the patch in question. Now, some of you might want to install liveries for your Zebo 737, either because it's your favorite airline or you want to do it for a specific route. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install liveries for the Zebo 737. However, this method also works for the Level Up 737, which I have also included an installation guide for at the end of this video. You can go ahead and use the chapters to navigate through to the specific part that you want to learn. So first, we're going to go ahead and find a livery that we want. There are two locations that I tend to use for my liveries. It's either going to be the explain.org forms or the threshold form. Now, both of them do require you to have an account, so make sure you do sign up for them so that you can actually download the files that you want, which is going to be the liveries. If you are downloading a livery for the Zebo mod, ensure that it is 3.31 or higher, otherwise it will not work correctly. 
and it may end up having shifted windows or incompatible textures or textures that look misplaced. So go ahead and download this file. And once you have downloaded it, go ahead and open the file in question. Mine is located in my downloads folder. It is called Air Canada New Livery V3. I'm going to open it by double clicking. And then I'm going to go to my Zebo installation by going to my X Plane 11 installation folder, aircraft B737-800X. I'm then going to open my liveries folder and look at the files here and ensure that these are actually the liveries in the livery folder itself. Once you've done that, go ahead and double click and look for the actual file that is delivery itself. You might have a readme that's contained within here. This readme is explaining the, how to replace it so that you have the leap engines or replace it so that you have CFMs or to add dirt onto the livery itself. I am not interested. I just want the actual livery itself. So the actual livery folder will have an icon usually. So however, some of them don't, but for the most part, they'll have these icon folders. But the main folder you're looking for is that objects folder as this is the actual livery itself. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that the objects folder is there. Go back one level, extract the following into the liveries folder. Once we've done that, we have successfully installed delivery into our Zebo mod. However, you can also successfully install liveries into the level up with the same exact method. A quick note regarding livery installation on the level up 737 series, you will require a folder that is actually called liveries, which is not here by default. To actually get this folder, you need to click on your new folder or right click and do new folder and type in liveries. That's L I V E R I E S. You cannot spell it any other way. Otherwise these will not work correctly. Once you have actually made the liveries folder, double click it and drag and drop any of the liveries that you require. You do not need to make any specific folders for the different variants. Just when you are in X plane 11, select the variant that you just installed the livery for and apply the livery onto that aircraft. Do not apply a mismatching livery to a wrong variant, such as a 737-800NG livery onto a 737-900ER. That will result in conflicts. So do not do that and make sure you are actually installing the correct livery for the correct variant. I am now going to demonstrate how to install the Level Up 737. It is a very similar process, however, downloading it will be done through the threshold form rather than downloading the Zebo mod from a Google Drive folder. So to begin, go to the link in the description, which will lead you to the 737NG. You will need to create an account to download the 737 from Level Up. So go ahead and create an account for the threshold forms and then go ahead and click on download here. When you click download, it should take you to a link that then takes you to the actual download page. You can then click download this file and then download level up 737NG base. Once you have downloaded this file, you are going to do the same thing that you did for the Zebo installation by first opening up the actual file in question, which is level up 737NG base, and then locating your X Plane 11 installation. Mine is in my Steam library, Steam apps, common X Plane 11. You're then going to go to your aircraft folder, and then you're going to go ahead and extract the following into the aircraft folder. Once you have actually extracted the file into your aircraft folder, you're going to go ahead and open it, confirm that the file hierarchy is correct, that you see aerofoils, cockpit, cockpit 3D, etc. And if you wanted to install any liveries, you're going to do so from this specific install folder. If the installation has gone correctly, when you click on new flight, you should be able to see a 737-600NG, 737-700NG, a 737-800NG, a Boeing 737-800X, a Boeing 737-800X4K, a Boeing 737-900ER, and a Boeing 737-900NG. This 737-800X and 4K variant are the default Zebo mod, while the 600NG, 700NG, 
800NG, 900ER, and 900NG are the level up 737 series. I'm going to go ahead and load up the 737-800X. I'm going to go ahead and click customize. We're going to select the livery that we just installed, or if you didn't install any livery, go ahead and select either default or one of the liveries that matches the actual variant here. For example, Qantas. But I'm going to go ahead and use my Air Canada livery I just downloaded. You're going to go ahead and select the airfield that you want to start from. Go ahead and select your start point. I'm going to select ramp here on Henderson Field. I'm going to set the weather. Set your time. Choose if you want to start with the engines running or not. And click start flight. Once you have finally loaded into the simulator, go ahead and verify that the aircraft looks normal and regular. That everything is looking the way it should. And then go ahead and proceed to power on the systems, sorry, to see if everything is working systems wise. We will connect it up to ground power here. And just turn it on. We'll make sure all the displays are initializing as they are correctly with no errors whatsoever. This looks normal. There are no weird messages that look out of place. Of course, it looks blank like this due to the INS or the IRS, sorry, not being aligned. So everything here is as usual and dandy. A couple of quick troubleshooting tips in case you have any issues with your installation, you should try and check the following. First of all, ensure this folder that the installation folder actually is from is sitting in the main aircraft folder. If you have it in a subcategory such as airliners and then have it inside of there like so, you may experience some issues and if you do, just try moving it out. If it works inside of that folder, it's totally fine. If you might, if you're having some kind of issue, try moving this into the main aircraft folder and see if you have a persisting issue. If your aircraft is showing some kind of error when trying to load it and it won't load fully, ensure that you have installed the full version first and then the patch file in question and not the patch file first and then the full version. If all else doesn't work, try reinstalling the aircraft or downloading it again and then installing it again. If that doesn't work, there may be an issue with your X-Plane installation, so verify the integrity file of the files for example, in Steam, if I go to my Steam page, right-click X-Plane 11, go to Properties, then go to Local Files, then click on Verify Integrity of Game Files, it will check all the files to make sure that everything is there and everything is working as intended. Anyways, that's going to conclude this tutorial. Hopefully that you found this helpful, and uh, if you did, please leave a like and comment down below and subscribe if you like these kinds of tutorial videos. And I hope to see you all on the next one. Take care and have yourselves a good one.